Point on Lizard Lick Towing. Come here, boy. After a repo blows up in Ron's face. Cold son! He realizes what's most important in life. Plead and beg. And tries to smooth things over with Amy. You're not at the doghouse yet. But will his plan completely backfire? I never forget too bad. That's all right now on Lizard Lick Towing. <laughs> You gonna get up there? Oh, follow him now. Bobby! Get him out of here, man. Get him! Get him, man. Get him! Get out of the boy! Get up there and get him! All right, I'm up, Bob. I'm up. I'm up. I'm All up. Right. Come on, baby. Dude, I screwed up bad, dude. Ronnie, get in the truck. You're acting absolutely ridiculous. Okay, I'm just gonna leave you. Amy. Amy, 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 Amy. I got to call Amy. Last night, dude, I promised her, Bobby. I said, no Bobby, no work. The guy on the Mustang shows up. What else can I do but fight him? Don't you call your wife? Oh, I should have known who was calling me this early in the morning. I'm not talking to him. I don't have nothing to say to him. He can sit right on over there at Bobby's house. Baby, I am so sorry about last night. For real, please answer the phone. I need you with me. I can't spend another night with Bobby, baby. No, he can't. Please call me back. I love you, honey. Please call me back. Bye. What do you think I ought to do, bud? I think you ought to keep calling your wife and you keep begging. But, honey, please. Honey, please. Honey, please. You have got to make it with your wife so you can quit sleeping on my couch. I sure hope she's in the office today, B. Boo, I do too. Give my phone for, and, and go get in the truck for being stupid. Oh, God, I hope Amy's at work, dude. I hope she forgives me. She ain't here, Bobby. This is ridiculous. I know she's mad, but man, we got a bit of stuff. Answer that phone. I'm not answering the phones. That's your job. Fine, I'll answer the phones. Lizzie Lee Towing, what's up? Bobby, you don't answer a phone, what's up? How about Lizzie Lee Towing, may I help you? Are you clean? <laughs> Would you please hold one second? This is absolutely ridiculous, Bobby. I got this. Amy makes answering the phones look easy, but it's a whole lot harder than what I thought it was going to be. Lizzie Lick Towen, can you hold, please? Ronnie, call Amy. I'm not going to sit and ask these phones all day. i tell you what, Bobby. Call Amy. Lizzie Lick Towen. Hang this the phones up. Just hang the phones up. I got a repo right here on a 94 Ford F-150. Let's just go do what we do. Let's go repo. Done. You know, once the repo came over on fax, we looked it up. It was way out in the backwoods, which always makes it a whole lot more scary. But it was time for me to get up out of that office. This is starting to look awful backwoods, bud. Last thing I need is to come mess with some freaking backwood hillbilly who's going to hand me my tailbone and then tell me how to cook it. We're getting ready to walk into a hornet's nest, cousin. We ain't got near a bit of net nor spray. We're here. This here ain't feeling real good to me, Bobby. Start looking around. This truck could be any freaking weird, dude. I see it. There it is right there. There it is right there. Get the vending. Get the vending. Somebody's got to be here. Look at all the trucks. It's a truck, Ronnie. This is a truck. This is the truck. Oh, Bobby, there's a guy outside. What the doing here, Bobby? What the doing? Keep the back here. Hey, 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 hey. Put, hey, hey. truck in the air, Bobby, watch yeah, out. Get out the truck, man. You're how stupid you're out here. What are you going to do, Bo? Put that up. Good. Put it up. I do. Put it up. Put it, put it. Dude, that's gas. That's gas. Dude, he's throwing gas on my truck. Bobby. I'm going to burn you up, too, you little up. You ain't going to burn up nothing, pal. Yeah, crazy. He just loaded. He just loaded, Bobby. Come here, boy. It ain't worth this, dude. It ain't worth this. We get shot at all the time, but never when we're covered in gasoline. It was a dangerous situation. I knew we need to get out of there. Get the out of here. I'm leaving. Okay. Come on, go on. All right, just you chill. Check your son. All right, I'm gone. 
Will you please tell me what the hell we just done? Man, that's it. Man, that was too close. You know, we try to never leave a job without a vehicle. But that old boy almost killed us. And boy, that truck wasn't worth dying for. Dang it, Amy's still not here. Let's elect on recovery. Yeah, I'm calling back with my daddy's truck. You try to come get me today. The one you tried to put me six foot under over? Yes, sir, that's, that's the one. Truck's parked there in the house. Just come on back and get it. I'm already suspicious because this guy's offered to give me a truck back that he just about killed me over a couple hours before. And I didn't like the whole setup nor situation. About three hours ago, you was madding a wet hen at a freaking omelet scramble. Yeah, I got to thinking that my daddy would be too proud of me the way I did then I saw it about that. And you just gonna give us the truck? I give you my word, there ain't gonna be no guns. The truck's sitting there, just come get it. Dude, you know what? I ain't buying. I say that this is a no-go. We're going. You sure you really want to go get this truck? I'm, we, yeah, we going to get the truck. Not I, do you want to, we going to get it. No doubt this guy was crazy. And Ronnie getting ready to be a new father, I can understand him erring on the side of caution. But repo is our business, that's how we get paid. You know what, I know you all roosted up, but I ain't feeling your cock a doodle -doo. I know you ain't scared, but I just ain't feeling this. So we got to really think this out, walk it slow, bro. I'll get my coat. That boy took a shot at me. And whether or not he's full of it, I'm itching to get that truck back and I want to settle to school. We've done some dumb things in our life. This right here might rank top three. Next. Oh, son! Bobby, come on, come on, come on! I need you to be real careful on this one, Bo. Something just ain't sitting right with me, man. And I, I don't like it either, but let's just go in here and get it and get out of here. You know, we've never had a guy willingly turn over his truck, especially after the way that nutcase attacked us. A lot of times I've been fishing, but I ain't never felt like the bait. Got a truck. I got a truck. You think that's our truck? That's the right one. Come on, get it. I'll get some straps on it. We'll get out of here, bro. This guy must have got smart. Come on back. Come on back. Hey, you son of a bitch, Bernie! Hey. What? Oh, what son! What? Get it running in the truck! Run it! I told you it's gonna burn before you take this motherfucker! Put it down! Put it down, Ronnie! Put it down! Bobby, I got her hugged! Put it down! down. I'm gonna take you to hell with me, son! Put it down! 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 Put that was insane Bo, i knew it was too good to be true dude my freaking truck is burnt Dude, I knew we were getting set up, man. Are you all right? I'm, I'm fine. Are you burnt? I ain't burnt. I'm just my nurse. Let's get out of here. I didn't care about the truck. I didn't care about the repo. I can always re-strategize and come back, but I do care about my life, and I was leaving with that. Dude, do you realize how close to death we just came? Yeah, I, I know. He had that thought out right there, Bo. That mother was gonna make sure that when we left there, cuz, we're gonna be like we just left Kentucky Fried Chicken. Extra crispy. He was laying in wait. I mean, he would lay it over in between them old trucks. You going home, brother. I'm gonna go wash my truck off and see what the extent of the damage is. Roger that, big dog. The fame is here. Let's keep what happened last night to ourselves, Bobby. All right. I'm hoping she's here, Bobby. She's hey, here. girl. You so pretty. Baby. You know, after everything that happened and everything I'd done, when Amy returned, she returned stressed. So I knew right then I had to come up with a plan to help her. And I knew just what to do. What if I maybe hire her a personal assistant to help out? Amy, that's a great idea. He can get you somebody to help you. That sounds like a wonderful idea. And I picked the personal assistant. You're not at the doghouse yet. Only if this assistant works out, then you can get out of the doghouse. Lizard Lick Towing. Hey. 
Ron. Hey, this is Richard. How you doing? What's up, dude? I know you guys are used to repoing cars. But listen, this is just a little bit different. I got some white-tailed deer I want you to get. Deer? This guy bought some deer, and he ain't paid me for them, and time's up, and I got to go get them. So you got deer that you got rights to that a man financing was supposed to pay you? That's right. I sold him these prime stud deer because his farm is used for breeding. He's not keeping the deer fed like he's supposed to. He's not keeping them current on their vaccinations. These are just not your everyday deer that's out, out in the wild. When we've got them in captivity like this, we have to look after them. These deer are definitely being neglected. If you don't do this, they're probably going to die. Well, I got a question, Bo. How in the world do you expect me to catch a deer? Well, you're going to have to tranquilize it. You're going to have to put him to sleep and put him in a trailer and haul him off. What do we do when he comes out? Well, you, that, that's your job. Give me a little protection and help me with it. I got. I know what you're calling me for now. <laughs> <laughs> calling me. Yeah. Well, Bo, I ain't never repossessed nothing to have four legs, so this is going to be a first one for me. i tell you what, Richard. I'll do it for 225 a deer. That good enough? You got a deal. Thanks, sir. Yes, sir. Bye-bye. Dude, deer? Deer. I know why Richard called us for the job. Not only are we excellent marksmen, we're also the best repo men around. So even though this is going to be highly unusual, I'm pretty excited about going. Let's go figure out how we're going to do deer. Coming up. Ronnie, let him up! Oh, Bobby! Shoot, wrong camo! Ah, Bobby! <laughs> Look at the wood, Bo. Ain't it beautiful? Yeah, it's nice. We're going to be repoing deer in the snow, Bo. This is a, a Lizard League original. You're repoing live animals. That's cool. That's hot. 225 a deer, baby. That's a whole bunch of cars in one place. Mm-hmm. Hey, how you good being, buddy? Hey, all right. Nice yeah. to meet you, sir. Good. Well, we got a job today now. We got to get these deer. Does the guy live here, Richard? Yeah, but he's not here. So what are we going to do if he pulls up? Keep him busy, whatever it takes. But because he, he's a bad guy. Is he really? I ain't joking, so I'm telling you right now, ex-marine. Yeah, okay, I got it now. Yeah. The deer down on the lower side there, so all the deer's got identifiers in their ears. Got tags in their ears. Okay, so basically, it's like a car. I'm going to go there at the end of the deer, it's like we're in the car. That's exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're shooting blanks with tranquilizer darts, and it ain't going to hurt the deer at all. Oh, no. It won't hurt the deer at all. That's the way we move. All right. We're ready to roll. Oh my goodness. All right, let's do this. Okay, good luck. 519. Is he on the list? He is. 99. He's down. All right, let's grab him quick. All right, bud. Let's go get the next one. Did you get it? He's down. Yeah, you see 007 right there? Yeah, you see 007 right there? Easy, easy. Let's go get the next one. Grab him, Bobby. Grab his horn. You ready? I hate him. I'm having more fun than a pit bull to cat pound. I just knew it was going too well. All of a sudden, here's this landowner coming out of nowhere, and Bo, he was furious. No, you ain't talking to Richard. You don't need to talk to Richard. No, you ain't you coming down here me. taking my deer. Richard, this is my deer. deer. No, no, man. No, no, man. I'm this telling you right one. now. I'm oh, telling you right now. Come on, take Oh, oh, oh. You ain't taking my deer. Hey, big boy. Get up. Bobby, don't shoot. Big boy. Let him run. Let him run. Shoot, Ron Camo! I couldn't believe he shot me. I mean, what was he doing shooting a tranquilizer dart in the first place? Do you know how bad that thing stung, Bobby? Darn it, Ronnie! I told you. Ah, Bobby! Up. That probably wasn't my best idea. I guess I'm not as good a shot as I thought. You want to deal with this? Yeah, you want to deal with this, Amigo? No, you ain't. Yeah, no, you ain't. Come on, boy. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do with you. Oh, right now, God. you on the ground. I shot my buddy! Over you! You piece of crap! Oh my god! So what are you on? Do I look high? Oh, uh, you might need help. You ain't going nowhere! You ain't going nowhere! You seen the last of me? Come on, son! Stay moving! Come on! 
You stay right there, you pork chop eating rascal. You think that's gonna stop me from coming out? It looks good on you too, behind bars. I can't believe I actually trained Ron. I mean, it's funny. Oh yeah, it's real funny. <laughs> Come on, hop in, right in front. Right here? Here, you sit right there. Right. I'm gonna let you head a co-pilot seat. Are you nauseous? Are you dizzy? You feel faint? You feel lightheaded? What you got? Both. Got them, honey. All right, you rest. I got this. Ready? Yeah, let them go, bro. Let them go. Come on, son. Come on. Although Ronnie wasn't awake to see it, it was a really good feeling to see all those deer get released. So they got all this to graze on, roam on. Plenty of grass, plenty of stuff to eat. They'd be happy day. They'd be happy day. Come on, wake up. Bye bye. Hey, bye bye. You done a good job. You got a little bit fuzzy on us, but <laughs> you don't need to get out of here. I'll settle up with you later. You know, I needed you, so I wouldn't have shot you on purpose. But you sure did enjoy it. Night, night, bud. Hey, Nikki, you got any crazy glue? I got an idea. While the guys were out repoing deer, I was stuck in the office and getting bored, so I came up with an idea. Every time somebody comes in here, they try to hit me with something. So you know what? I'm going to fix them this time. I'm going to glue everything now. <laughs> They're going to be like, oh, I'm going to hit her with this? Not today. Laughs on you, sucker. <laughs> it works. Nice. Oh, yeah, baby. Hello. Hey, can I help you? Yes. Um, last night, somebody come and got my daughter's card. It's in my name. Okay. And I want to pay the payment. Okay. Well, uh, I can't. I don't take any payments. You have to talk to the lien holder. What I can't pay the payment here? No. I got the money. And okay. And you sitting here telling me I can't get my car. You're not understanding what I'm saying. I'm Apparently, saying, I'm saying, you're not understanding what I'm saying. Well, you got all You have to stuff. understand in order to get your car. In you order to get your car. In the car. Lord have car. mercy. She talks more than Ronnie does. I, I ain't never. I need that super glue for that mouth right there. You're not going to. You don't know who you're messing with. Is that a threat? I, that's a promise. That's a promise? That's a promise. Oh, Lord. We can do this. We can do this. Oh, Lord. She done, we can she do done this. came up out of her wit. We can Lord. do this. <laughs> when you want to do it. Your voice really? Yes. Really? Go ahead. Yeah, you Take come something on. off of there. I come here and what? Peace. What's wrong? I'm, I'm, What's wrong? That bell won't come up. <laughs> <laughs> that bell won't bring that glue to the floor. I, I want my stuff. Is your seal broke? You hide behind the door. I ain't hiding. Tell you what, both of you come on. Come I'll on. Take both of you. Good. Oh, I'm I'm a, you better I'm take that cane and run on up out of here. I'm not taking it. Bye. Have a good day. Come on out. She left you a present. Woo, girl. She left you her wig. It was a crazy idea, but the super glue trick worked. Next. I know you from somewhere. I'll never forget you, bye. With everything Amy has to do around the office, I promised her I'd get her some help. So that's what I did. I put an ad in the local newspaper and tried to get some candidates in there for her to interview. Hey, I know her. I know her too. I do recognize that girl that is bothering me. Me too. She looked at me too like, I know you. All right, well, I'm going to start my interviews now. Jane, you can come in, please. Why she keep looking in? That's look, what I'm talking about. That's why. Look, look out there. Look. That's why I shut the door. Yeah, but look. She's, I don't, she's, she's staring. She's staring down. I know. Is that his girlfriend of yours? I mean, I'm just asking. Diane, come on in, girl. That don't ring a bell. I don't know no Diane. You have a seat right here, madam. Okay. How's it going? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Good. Come here. Okay, well, let me ask you a couple questions. All right. Come here. Don't mean to interrupt you. How you doing? Nice How to you meet doing? you, man. All right. How you doing? Very nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, too. I'm telling you. Ma'am, have we ever met before? I know you from somewhere. You I don't want to be rude. Did we ever work together? I mean, 
You look really, really familiar. And I, I don't want to be rude and say I don't remember you, but you look so familiar to me. Well, you know, I'll tell you. I was last time I was here, I was really upset. Yeah, big juice in this motherfucker. You with my sister last night with me. You want to with my I never forget you, Bobby. I remember Big Juicy. I can't believe Amy's serious about giving her a job. I remember the last time she was in his office. I'm still traumatized. I was a little upset that day, but it's you know, I promise you I did an excellent job. Yeah. Especially when it comes to Bobby. <laughs> Are we gonna have a discussion about this before you look at the GC? Uh -uh. I knew that Big GC would be perfect for the job. The way she manhandled Bobby, I figured she'd be tough enough to take on just about any old troublemaker that walked through my door. Dude, that's her. Man, I'm gonna tell her because you shot me. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and give you the job. When can you start? She just hired. She just hired. She just hired. <laughs> Sweet. I look forward to taking care of you. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. I got the job. I can't oh, freaking believe Bobby. you. This is ridiculous. It's either me or it's her. Amy, don't you remember the way that woman chased me? I didn't jump through the window, Amy. I know, but you were just a snack pack. You'll be all right. She, yeah, don't she, she don't want to eat you. She don't want to nibble on you. Look at me. She gets hold of me. Don't want me to have a bone left. That's all right, buddy. Me and you both stand to lose a few pounds. I don't want to lose that much. Bobby, don't make me mad. I'm going to call Big Juicy. Bobby. That's great. Now, Ronnie's got a Bobby and Amy's got a Juicy. That's it. <laughs> so together, we got a Juicy Bobby. Dude. You smell that? She just got burnt. <laughs> 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 <laughs>